My name is Mario Grijalva. I am director of the Tropical Disease Institute at Ohio University. In this, the sixth and final episode of our podcast series about the Tropical Disease Research Program, we're going to see how the solid infrastructure we have created in Ecuador has allowed us to open the doors for research into other areas in collaboration with different institutions. In addition, our work is conducted in close collaboration with the Ministry of Health of Ecuador. And at the end, we hope that the results of this work will improve the health of the Ecuadorian population. No, 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 es que hay que ponerle junto. Mario invited me to come down here and interface with the Chagas expedition. And so he has all the infrastructure in place with uh, local contacts. His team goes out, you know, um, targets local, the rural areas we're going to go. They have the Chinchorro patrols. Um, so more or less, you know, I travel with his group. Everything is set up. It's not like I have to get people together, you know, find a guide, do all this kind of stuff. So, you know, it's very convenient for CDC. These are the kind of collaborations we really like to have. The Tropical Disease Research Project, or TDRP, offers a wide array of opportunities for collaboration. For example, the Center of Disease Control is able to utilize the TDRP's experienced access with remote Ecuadorian locales, while a research team from Ohio University's College of Osteopathic Medicine simultaneously takes advantage of daily medical access to a wide range of rural Ecuadorian children. A three-person research team is able to gather glucose levels, body measurements, and nutritional surveys from over 600 children in just three short months. Additional relationships develop outside of the immediate project setting. One of the most important alliances in the continuing battle against Chagas disease is a partnership with the Ecuadorian Ministry of Health, creating a network of trained medical personnel to test pregnant women for chronic Chagas. This pilot program is very important because the research that is being conducted about the Chagas bugs and the vector that transmits the disease is especially prevalent in this area. It is essential for health professionals in rural medical clinics to not only understand Chagas disease, but to be properly trained in detecting and preventing the spread of the disease. In recent years, the Ministry of Health has designed regional seminars for rural health care providers. These educational forums are then supplemented throughout the year with testing supplies and personalized on-site visits by the Tropical Disease Research Project staff, aiming to visit each and every clinic in the region, no matter how remote the location may be. We're trying to use our research results to increase the awareness of the problem and hopefully to increase the authority's financial and personal support of this program. We've been successful at this in many ways, but there's still more that needs to be done, especially in congenital transmission of Chagas from mother to child during pregnancy. The progress is slow, but we're on the right path with support from the Ministry of Health. Tools, training, and ongoing support from both the Ministry of Health and the Tropical Disease Research Project will eventually enable every community in Ecuador, from the largest city to the smallest villa, to work together in fighting the spread of Chagas disease. Thank you for joining us. A future series by the Tropical Disease Institute will be available soon. We'll see you then.